The 10th annual Faith on Fire rally was held in late August at Sacred Heart Church in Feeding Hills. And even though severe weather prior to the event prompted moving this popular spiritual gathering indoors, that didn't dampen the spirits of the large turnout of people. Nick Morganelli reports now on the power of the spirit witnessed that evening. With attendees topping 500, you'll find vendors to do some shopping, prize giveaways from local Christian radio, and if you're hungry, they'll feed you and you won't miss a moment with the remote broadcast. Where can you go in your area that you can listen and participate with great Christian music? Where can you go and do your reconciliation with 12 or more priests available to you Deb Briancesco has directed the rally for the past six years with her husband, Pete. The weather broke and then I heard, my husband told me that they were actually doing some confessions outside. The Sacrament of Reconciliation is always offered and is ongoing amongst short, faith-filled talks. And my conversion started in 2011 on June 15th. Um, I was in Afghanistan. I was, a, I was a U.S. Navy corpsman stationed with the United States Marine Corps. And uh, I was on my fourth tour to Iraq, and I was on my second one in Afghanistan. And thank you. Ray Atkins, along with Nomar Rodriguez, who spoke about his experience at the Subinville East Youth Conference, shared the microphone with Father Ryan Sliwa and Father Paul Norman. And of course, Bishop William Byrne and Zelly were given a huge greeting. Come, Holy Spirit. May be, we be on fire with you. On fire with you, amen. I couldn't wait to get back. It's a, just an explosion of prayer and the Holy Spirit. These are the, the real prayer warriors of, of our diocese. And so it's so exciting to be with them and to praise God with them. We have a prayer team that can pray with you. We have the praying with the laying of the hands. You get to participate and embrace adoration with the Eucharistic procession. Where can you go and do that in one space? Ernie and his prayer partner Eileen, products of the charismatic Catholic movement, have been involved on the prayer team since the rally began. And it's not me, it's God. Everything is God. You know, we're, we're just vehicles that, you know, we do it. Try to be open to what he wants to do, how he wants to direct the prayer, the, and just go with the flow. Each year, Faith on Fire includes inspiring talks, great praise and worship music, and witness talks this year was a big part of it, but it was Jesus himself in the form of the Eucharist that was the highlight of this year's event. I love listening to the testimonials too, but um, there's just something really special about the music and the procession, especially if, when it's outside. Now that her boys are teens, they are able to participate and experience the evening. The procession of the Eucharist is always a highlight because of the music. I feel like this is ultimately the reason why I like to come to this every year because, I don't know, it just elevates my soul. Our Lord, mercy made present in the Eucharist, uh, will be adored and worshiped and processed around so that all can experience his Eucharistic love. Our Lord didn't just come to, to give us life, but to nurture us, nurture us at every Mass, to feed us spiritually with his own very life, body, blood, soul, and divinity. We started Faith on Fire with the intent of reaching one person. If you reach that one, you did God's work. That's what it's all about. 
Praising God and planting seeds of faith for a future harvest, in Agawam for Real to Real, I'm Nick Morganelli. Faith on Fire is always such an uplifting event. So many people are already looking forward to it next year.